guys, I'm going to Iceland today. I am so excited. I can't wait. Today is the first day of my Iceland series, which will be going up every Sunday on this channel until I'm back. I think I'm there for like six days, so hopefully six videos, although today is a travel day, so I don't know how long this video is going to be, so it might be that I combine it with day two, but regardless, welcome to my Iceland series. I am so excited to go. I'm going on my own, part of my solo travel that I do. So far I've been to London and I've been to France on my own, but I've never been to Iceland on my own, so I'm very, very excited. I'm of course quite nervous, um, but yeah, can't wait. I've always wanted to go to Iceland. I've got so many fun experiences and adventures booked, and I just can't wait to take you guys along on the journey with me. I'm going to be going to, all things going to plan, I'm going to be going to the Blue Lagoon, going and seeing some geysers and volcanoes, doing whale watching, going obviously to like all the local museums and stuff like that. I just... Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to get started. So today, obviously, I'm flying from Edinburgh Airport into Iceland and then going straight to my hotel. So I'll give you a hotel tour and then maybe seeing how things go, just go for a little walk around the local area. But yeah, I'm really excited. So let's go. My bags are packed and ready to go. I am dressed and ready to go. Let's do this. Made it to Edinburgh Airport. As you can tell, you really can't miss what airport you're at. Ready to go check this bad boy in. Okay, I have to be quiet because I'm in Weatherspoons at the moment, but my next update is I'm at Weatherspoons at the airport. Um, I've managed to find like a secluded little corner, but I'm kind of filming like this because I don't like filming in public. Um, but yeah, so, the check-in of my bag was like so quick, it was self-check-in, so it was like, easy as anything, got it done in like two minutes. But security was so long, I've never seen security that long, they wouldn't even let you into the security hall because there were already too many people in there, so that took a while, but luckily I get here really early anyway, so I've got an hour until my gate comes up. So I'm just going to chill, have some lunch and relax because security is always so stressful. <laughs> Okay, so this is what I've gone for for lunch. I've gone for cauliflower and spinach curry, and it comes with rice, naan bread, and papadoms, and I got chips as well. Quite a lot of carbs um, for a flight, so I'll maybe not eat the naan bread. Naan bread's like my favorite food, but this is plain naan, and I really only like garlic naan, so yeah, but I'm, I'm very excited. It smells amazing. I normally get chicken tikka masala, but I was like, you know what? Try something new. Iceland. I did not choose the best view for this but I've just got to the BSI bus station. I'm gonna walk and talk at the same time. Just got to the BSI bus station which is like the main bus terminal in Reykjavik. I didn't really get a chance to film much once I got off the plane because obviously you can't really film like customs and stuff. Um, it's so snowy I'm struggling so hard with my bag. Um, and then the bus was just there so I just got straight on it so I didn't really get a chance to film but I did film a couple of clips, which I will put in here so you can see. But anyway, I'm off the bus now. It took ages, took like an hour. And now I'm gonna do, Google Maps says 
it's gonna be like a 20 minute walk to my hotel. We will see because I'm struggling with a bag and snow, maybe more like half an hour. Um, so yeah, I'll show you what I can get. I probably could have got like a taxi or another bus, but I wanted to stretch my legs and see what I can see. Guys, look how nice it is along here. As I said, it's gonna take me about 20 minutes. You can probably not really hear me open my suitcase. Um, getting out of the bus terminal was a challenge. <laughs> There's no like pedestrian roads to get to this bit. So you kind of just have to go through the car park, which is fine. Cars are very courteous, but as a result, any bit that's not a road is just covered in snow. <laughs> it's very snowy, as you could probably tell. Um, so you kind of have to just hike through the snow. So my feet are kind of wet now. Um, and obviously with my suitcase, it's not super easy. I think if you didn't have a suitcase, it would be fine. But if you do have a suitcase, I would maybe recommend pre-booking a taxi or something like that. But I am loving walking and going past everyone's houses. I'm so nosy, these houses are huge. It's so cool. I kind of can't believe I'm here. It's also not that cold. Well, it's zero degrees, so depends what you classify as cold, but I'm fine. I'm just wearing my jacket, I don't have any gloves on or anything. So if it stays like this, I'm good. Guys, I have arrived in my hotel room, finally. The walk was fine in the end, it did only take about 20 minutes, but let's do a room tour. I've kind of just chucked everything, <laughs> so sorry about that. But what you see is literally the whole room because I have booked a single occupancy suite. So it's literally a single bed. <laughs> First time doing this, so I'm interested to see what I think about it because obviously it's a lot cheaper doing it this way. But I'm staying in the Apotec Hotel, um, so you can look that up if you want to. But this is the door I came in from. The ceilings are so high. <laughs> It's so necessary, but it's nice. It makes the room feel bigger. So you've just got like this little corridor here, a thing to put my suitcase that I'm gonna do in a minute, a desk um, with like a customer feedback survey, a, like, is that a Beats bar thing? I've never used one of them, but cool. Um, some information about the breakfast buffet, which is cool, but kind of, conf I'm confused by the Icelandic hot dog experience. <laughs> So I'll let you know what that's about in the morning because I have put myself in for breakfast. And then room service. Oh, it's available from, well, well, well. Room service menu. That's for, sorry, I'm looking at these for the first time. That's for Christmas Eve, oh, but we're not in those. What can you get? An Icelandic landscape, a burger, shrimp salad, chicken, cauliflower. I could just have cauliflower today. Well, well, well. I'm gonna go out and see if I can find something to eat myself, but that's good to know. Um, big TV, hello. And then my view, it's kind of hard to figure out, but I think that's a cafe, it looks like a cafe. And this is like their outdoor seating that's obviously not available at the moment, but I'm pretty happy with that. I normally get the bins, so I'll take it. The bed, which looks very comfy. And then a really cute little cubby hole here for me to charge my phone, which, I'm very pleased about. And then I'm pleasantly surprised by the wardrobe. So cool, right? It's got an iron and an ironing board and a whole little like coffee area and slippers. And best thing of all, I discovered this when I did a little tour for, <laughs> I sent one to my granny, a dressing gown. Yes, so excited. And then this is the bathroom. The floor was clean. You could probably see my muddy boots has destroyed it. So I'm gonna have to clean that up. And um, it's just got what you would expect, but I love the subway tiles. It's so clean and cool. Oh, got hair all over my forehead and a massive shower. So I'll have a shower later, but yeah, that is my room. And I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, so I'm out and about on the main streets. I'm <laughs> right here. Bit. That's my hotel right there. So I'm just gonna go for like 20, 30 minute walk around just to kind of see what's what and get my bearings a little bit. And maybe my two goals are to find somewhere to get my dinner from and just like eat it in the hotel, I think. And my second one is to find a supermarket. Now that I thought was a supermarket, but it's a wine shop, <laughs> not the kind of thing I'm looking for. Um, to buy like <laughs> snacks and things like that. So let's see what I find. One thing I have already learned is that they really go out for Christmas here. Look at that. That's not the first thing I've seen like that. So cool. Gonna get one over.
come across this rainbow street. Obviously the Christmas decorations aren't normally here, but it's literally just a rainbow street. How cool is that? I don't wanna walk on it because I haven't figured out how the roads work here yet and I've already been on it for like 17 times. On that note, something I've noticed about Iceland is obviously like Vikings are like their thing. I know that. What I didn't get was that they seem to have a bit of beef with pirates. <laughs> I've seen so many t-shirts and jumpers and things like that being like Vikings eat pirates for breakfast. Like, okay, didn't know that was a thing. There you go. Not even gonna question that. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Sorry about the lighting. I haven't had time to figure it out. I haven't had time to do much of anything today. I feel like this is the first time I've had a chance to really just sit down and take it in. So I've been for a walk and I found a supermarket. I didn't find anywhere to get food, so I've just ordered a Domino's to the hotel. I know, judge me all you want. I'm in a brand new country and I've got a Domino's. I don't care. I don't care. Um, so I found a little supermarket. So I just got... Um, cherry pepsi to have with my dinner because at that point i didn't know what i was ordering i was like oh they might not have like drink options chocolate m m's to have in the room they're my favorite okay they're my favorite and then i got these olw brand which i've never seen before i think they're just plain like salt crisps in fact let's let's give them a try Okay, they are just plain salt crisps, but they're so salty. If you're not a big fan of salt, these aren't for you, but these are really good. Personally, I love salt. So yeah, so I've just got them in the room just to snack on. And if there's ever a day where I just don't feel like going out after I've been out and about, um, like there's a day, for example, where I'm not gonna get back here till about one o'clock in the morning because I'm gonna go see the Northern Lights, hopefully. Um, so I might be hungry after that. So it's just so I've got some things in. Let's taste the Pepsi cherry. You know, tastes exactly like it does at home. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I've just got back. I finally feel like I can settle down a bit. I might unpack, I might not bother. Nothing that I'm wearing is like gonna get crumpled or anything. So I might just leave everything in the suitcase, honestly. Um, so my plan is relax here, pick up my Domino's and eat it. <laughs> and then I'm going to have a shower and properly like decompress for the evening and then get everything ready for tomorrow. Like I like to put my clothes out for the next day and stuff like that. So yeah, that's my plan. Then just go to sleep basically because I'm so tired. Travel days just take it out of you, don't they? And I don't know why because you're not actually like doing anything, but yeah, um, and I've brought my laptop with me, so hopefully I can get that connected to the internet and just watch some YouTube and stuff like that. So yeah, that's it so far. So I figured while I'm waiting for my dominoes to come, um, I spent a bit of time like getting things sorted. Like I said before, I feel a lot better now. I'm glad I just did it now. Like um, I've put my clothes out that I'm gonna wear tomorrow. I've packed my bag, like rather than like my big rucksack, I've got like a little bag I'm gonna take around. So I've got all my stuff in there made sure my plug adapters work, which they do, just kind of got sorted. So I feel a lot better now and managed to get, um, don't mind that picture I'm watching, Jack Sebsi guy. Um, I managed to get the internet on my laptop, which is amazing. I um, might do a bit of editing later as well, who knows. Um, but I figured I'd walk you through um, a bit more about what this vlog series is actually gonna be. <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. So yeah, I am in Iceland for, so it's the third today, so this is day one, fourth, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Six days, I'm leaving on the sixth, but I've got lots of activities and stuff. So six vlogs will come from this series. Um, this is obviously vlog one and they'll come out every Sunday. I am gonna have other videos coming out in the meantime, cause I appreciate not everyone's here for the travel content, but if you do like that, new videos every single Sunday for the next six weeks-ish, um, which will be Iceland vlogs, so. I'm very excited. This is obviously the one with like the least content in it because it's just a travel vlog. Um, but I thought I'd let you know what I'm going to get up to tomorrow, all things going to plan, so that you know what's coming in next week's video, which is obviously tomorrow for me, but next week for you guys. Ugh. So 
I'm hoping to go to the Phallological Museum, which is the Penis Museum, <laughs> because I'm sorry, if that's on offer, I've got to go check it out. So <laughs> content warning for that one. Um, I'm then going to go to the Hal Halgrimskirkja, which is like the big church, which is like the main icon of Reykjavik. So looking forward to that. I did get a sneak peek when I was walking around, but I was like, I do not see. I do not see because uh, I know I'm going to go tomorrow. And then I'm going to go to Perlin Wonders of Iceland, which seems to be a sort of newer addition to like the museums of Reykjavik, but it seems to be really interactive. Don't know a whole lot about it, but it looks really cool but it is a bit of a trek um, out of the city a little bit. Then um, I've got a place that I'm hopefully going to have lunch. I think it's at Perlin. They've got like a cafe. So I'll just have lunch there and then walk back. Then I'm going to relax for a little bit. Just here, just chill out, warm up, hopefully. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to go to a cafe for dinner and then go to an ice bar. That's the plan. We'll see how things work out. Obviously, I might change my mind. Things might change, but... It's a jam-packed day tomorrow, so I've got a really, really fun vlog coming for you next Sunday. So I think my food's gonna be here in a minute, so just wanted to let you know. Guys, am I not living the dream or what? I'm in my robe, in my pajamas, in a hotel room, in Iceland, with a Domino's. <laughs> this is my pizza. I asked for minimal cheese, lots of tomato sauce, if you're wondering why it looks a bit weird, and potato wedges, and honey mustard dip. Turns out pizzas here do not automatically come with garlic and herb, but I feel like I'm the only person who comes on holiday here and gets a Domino's, so I don't think that really applies to, <laughs> to any of you guys. But anyway, I'm gonna enjoy this. Okay guys, I've eaten my dinner. It was good. Definitely not as good as UK Domino's, but UK Domino's is elite so far. Uh, from what I've heard as well, like American Domino's apparently isn't very good. So I'm going to try my Domino's everywhere I go and I'll keep you updated. But yeah, it was good. Um, I had a shower. The shower is amazing. This is a spa hotel. So like the showers and stuff are like chef's kiss. It was so good. And now I'm just in bed. It's like seven o'clock, but <laughs> I'm so tired and I've got a big day ahead of me tomorrow. So as I said, I'm just going to sit here. I may have a couple M&Ms. They're supposed to be for emergencies but I might just have some now and <laughs> um, my goal is when I was here is like I'll eat whatever I want I'm on holiday I'm gonna eat whatever I want but to have at least five fruit and vegetables a day I've had three today which isn't great but tomorrow five fruit and veg and the breakfast here is definitely going to help with that as well um so I failed on that first day but we'll keep going um so yeah I'm literally just going to sit here and edit this exact video um and just do a couple of other things I might just sit and play solitaire I'm obsessed with solitaire at the moment especially spider solitaire let me know if you play it I'm obsessed I just play it for hours um but yeah and then hopefully just go to sleep kind of early to be honest um so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i am so excited about this series be sure to subscribe so that you'll see when i put out next sunday's video which will be tomorrow <laughs> and um yeah i think that's it thank you so much for watching bye